this is Sammy Nestico. I am in shock and so sad to hear about Bill. I mean, he was a little boy when I lived around the corner and worked with your dad. I feel very badly about that. And I have to tell you, I'm under doctor's care and I see him almost, see her almost every day, even tomorrow morning. So it's going to be almost impossible for me to go to a memorial. If you want me to write something or deliver something for it, I would do anything. I, I really am. I can't believe it because I'm so sorry. You take care, Gary. Love both of you. Bye bye. Hi, Courtney. This is Rick Mason. I used to play bass trombone in your dad's L.A. band in the late 1970s and throughout a significant part of the 1980s. His band worked quite a bit during this time, probably as a result of the exposure he had with the movie New York, New York a few years earlier. One of the recurring gigs Bill secured was a series of several live Burbank Police Association benefit shows produced at the Shrine Auditorium. Your dad would always open the show with a Dorsey medley beginning with the theme, Getting Sentimental Over You. 
that arrangement, like Dorsey's, who started with a solo trombone statement that would soar up to a high D flat, uh, literally the fifth note of the tune. Being a live show in a fairly big theater, everyone had microphones. Some Several times, as soon as your dad would hit that high D flat, and by the way, he never missed that high D flat, one of the trumpet players who maintained an array of toys in his mute bag would pull out and expel a, a whoopee cushion in his microphone just as your dad landed that note. I might be wrong, but I sort of recall that trumpet player was Walt Johnson. A lesser trombonist would split the pitch and be angry as hell at the trumpet player, but not your dad. He always laughed it off, as we all did, and never, ever missed that D flat. How the hell he did that was always a mystery to me. That tune is hard enough to play under the most perfect conditions. That's one of the many stories of working with your dad that's stuck in my mind over the years. It, it, it goes to your dad's strength of character, his resilience as a trombonist and musician, <laughs> and his ultimate patience with his musicians. I was always impressed with the way your dad ran his band, the respect he had for his musicians. Your dad gave me an opportunity to work with some of the best musicians in L.A., and even as such, I never felt I was working for him, but, but always with him. He was truly a musician's musician. Working in his band and being a close friend to both him and your Uncle Gary, back as far back as the Miller Band, were truly some of the happiest and most personally and professionally satisfying years of my life. Your dad will indeed be missed. often put on a fine tuxedo, stand in front of a raging fireplace when it's 98 degrees outside with a 100% humidity to celebrate the life of the one and only Bill Toll. But when I do do this, I always drink 
Dos Equis. Stay thirsty, my friends. <coughs> this is awful. I'm so sorry I can't be there to celebrate Bill today. Um, the one word that comes to mind when I think of Bill Toll is gentleman. He is a gentleman's gentleman. So talented, so funny. I will miss him, I will miss his humor, and I will miss his talent. Uh, whenever I hear a wonderful trombone solo, I will think of Bill. And all I can say is, um, here's to you, maestro, until we meet again.
TV with him. I also like when he used to help me play music on the piano, like Twinkle Twinkle or Jingle Bells or any other song that I learned from him. And I miss snuggling with him and I miss him. Bye. Hello, my name is Grace and I'm on my little sister. What did you love about Grandpa? What was your favorite thing that you used to do with Grandpa? Do you remember? What was your favorite thing? To I love that you used to teach me piano. You liked when he taught you piano? Yeah, but I forgot it. You forgot how to play? Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, we'll keep practicing. What else did you like about Grandpa? You don't remember? Do you like when you used to be stick with me and you used to watch us play together? Or you didn't smack a lot of people? <laughs> okay, say, I'm going to miss you, Grandpa. Wait, Gracie, didn't he play Barbies with you? No. Say, <laughs> say love you. Love you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you. 
in my early 20s, I called my dad and told him I wanted to buy a brand new car and asked him to go with me to the dealership. As we drove to Kobe Honda in Reseda, my dad explained to me what to expect when buying a new car from a dealership. I remember him commenting on how pleased he was that I knew what I wanted before even getting there. Several hours later, I had my car. From start to finish, I had done it all on my own without any help from him. Before driving away from the dealership, my dad stopped me and gave me a huge hug, telling me he was so incredibly proud of me for doing my own research and for handling everything the way I did. He made a joke that I didn't even need him there. Little did he know that just having him there gave me strength and courage. Just like with everything, I knew that no matter what, if I needed him, he'd be there for me. I'm not sure he ever completely understood just how much it meant to me to have him there. Buying my own car was a big milestone, and I was honored to have him there with me. To know he was proud of me for working hard to save enough money to buy a new car, and then to have him watch in amazement as I proudly purchased it all by myself was an incredible feeling. My dad always taught me to work hard and to take pride in everything I did. He taught me to always remain humble and appreciate the successes and to learn from all the mistakes and failures. He taught me how to be kind and loving while also standing up for what I believe in. There are no words to express the sadness I feel with him gone, but I will continue to make him proud. He may be gone from my sight, but never ever gone from my heart. Love you, Daddy-o. Did you really like that? Yeah. You can tell Grandpa I love you. Love you. Bye. organization for all the great war bond drives you put on and for giving up your time and talent for that wonderful radio show the treasury star parade starring gd thank you it's been a pleasure doing our musical bit for the peace of the world uh, we all love it